Whoa, welcome, 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 welcome to WrestleCam. This is your boy, your host with the most, but humble. I do mean humble, D. Nostranovis, a.k.a. Derek, and I'm here on a Monday to give you the Monday Night Raw review, okay? Thank y'all. So very much. I know y'all getting tired of me saying it, but I'm going to keep saying it until the wheels fall off. Thank y'all so very much for allowing me to be a part of your time. Time I know is so precious. And I thank y'all so much for just clicking on it and watching it. I thank you so much. Uh, true story. Um, before I hit play, uh, before I hit record, I swear I looked at um, the very first episode, which was in... March, April, May, uh, it was in April, it was in April, um, very first, very first, and, uh, man, I tell you, uh, how times have changed in only, in only four months, um, I thank y'all so very much for allowing me to be a part of it, and I thank y'all for the ride, this crazy ride that is WrestleCram, um, Stephen Larson, I love y'all so much. Uh, on Going In Raw. If you have not subscribed to Going In Raw, please go and subscribe to Going In Raw with Stephen Larson. I love y'all so much. Over there in, in Cali. In the city! But anyway, um, they're not in LA. They're they're in, I think, Sacramento. So, <laughs> I, I sung the song, but they're in Sacramento. Um, I think. But anyway, I think they're in, they're, I know they're like in North California. Or not, not in Oakland where the craziness is, but somewhere in that little southern, I mean, the little middle part where it's. I, I, anyway. If you like the show, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you, if you, you just watch it, just watch it. You know, I'm at 49 right now. So whoever's that 50th person, thank you so much. Um, but um, go ahead and hit the sub button. Please hit the sub button. And also, if you want to do more than the thumbs up and the sub, go ahead and hit the notification bell. I do five core shows. Every single week. Um, and we got, you know, I also, uh, you will find out what my two cent will be about this Thursday uh, at the end of the show. I will let y'all know. Um, also, I do have the Money in the Bank. I had that posted as well. Also, my prediction of Money in the Bank is posted on YouTube as well. Um. Also, happy 4th of July, everybody. Happy 4th. What did you do? Hopefully, you ate a lot of, you consumed a lot of grilled pork or a lot of grilled beef. You know, um, I was unfortunately at work. I got off and I just made me some steak quesadillas. That's what I did. Um, <laughs> other than that, I mean, I enjoyed uh, WWE Raw. And uh, I bought this shirt. I bought this shirt a long, like, like two weeks ago. I knew I wasn't gonna wear it until the fourth, and thank goodness I wear it on the fourth. My favorite cap, my favorite Marvel superhero is of course Captain America. I'm a big fan of Captain America, um, Sam Wilson, of course, but I like Steve Rogers. But Sam Wilson of uh, the Falcon, uh, Captain America, to me is better than uh, Steve Rogers. But anyway, I digress. I digress. I digress. Anyway, um, Monday Night Raw. Uh, <laughs> This is the this is the uh, show after Money in the Bank. Um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I, hands down, it was not bad. It was a show within a show within a show. Uh, more of like a to me, it was like a super show because they had a lot of people on SmackDown, and I was really lost on why you had all these people on SmackDown on Raw. Like, so like because. You have this this show on on Monday, right? And 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 I'm not I'm not you know bitching about it because it was a good show, um, but you have all the stuff that's going on on SmackDown. How about you grab some of that stuff that you had, make another match, and and put those segments on SmackDown, make SmackDown better. You know, I'm just saying. Yes, you have the Tribal Chief. Uh, for Friday, I can't wait to watch it, but I mean, Liv should not have been on 
Raw. I'm just saying. Gunther should not have been on Raw. <coughs> just my opinion, just my humble opinion. The only people, the only two people that should be on both Raw and SmackDown is, of course, the Tribal Chief, who has both belts, and the Usos, who have both belts. Only two people. Only two people. Sorry, you guys got to draw a little throat. Um, but, um, it started off with the, um, of course, the video package of Money in the Bank, uh, and July 4th, you know how big July 4th is, uh, they bring in Bobby Lashley, they bring in Bobby, Bobby is a ex, I think he's an ex-Army, a retired Army, he comes out, he talks about, you know, how America's so great, and how happy he is, to be the um, the uh, United States champion, and you know it's a great time to be the United States champion because it's July Fourth, hey America. So, what you know what? And, and I'm going to stop right here. Why didn't we have Lacey? We didn't have Lacey on on this show. We had everybody else, but we didn't have Lacey. So you know, and she is so American driven. You know, I'm so lost why she wasn't on, on the show. Anyway, I digress. Uh, anyway, Theory comes out and he talks about how great he is, which I think he is. Um, and um, uh, just talk about you know that he is going to cash it in on uh, on SummerSlam, which I think he's going to lose. Um, but he will get his rematch against Bobby Lashley at SummerSlam at the end of the month. I thought that was very creative. I'm very happy about that. Um, so they will have a um, they will have a three man tag today. It's going to be the Uso, the Usos, uh, uh, <laughs> American Alpha, and Theory versus the Street Profits and Bobby Lashley. I thought um, that's going to be very interesting. I can't wait. Um, now, if we fast forward, I mean, fast forward, rewind last week, we did have a altercation or a verbal spat between Judgment Day and the Mysterios. Uh, Ray did, he did call out them and wanted a match, and he got that match. The match was today. Now, if you know anything about Vince McMahon, if you know anything about Vince McMahon, Vince McMahon will make you lose at home. Um, Rey Mysterio, it, I think they are in, um, I forgot where they are in California. Is it uh, Santa Monica? San Diego is one of those areas. They are in that area where he, this is his hometown. Now, if you know anything about WWE, you will typically lose in your hometown. This time, they actually won. So, you know, I was very lost behind that, how, how they allowed that to happen, but that did happen. Um, it was a crazy botch um, that I seen uh, that Rey Mysterio tried to do a tornado, well, uh, over-the-shoulder DDT onto uh, Damian Priest. Uh, it looked very nasty. Uh, but, I mean, it came out, you know, they both, uh, Ray and Dominic both did the 619s on Damian Priest. And, of course, well, he's not the leader, but he's supposed to be the leader, but everybody's equal. Um, uh, Finn Balor, um, they, uh, Ray Mysterio tried to do the, uh, five-star frog splags on to Balor. Balor put the knees up and instantly did a cradle, a pin. But Rey Mysterio did kick out. Um, <laughs> so they did a traditional uh, Eddie Guerrero where, well, here's the thing. Finn Balor grabbed the, grabbed the chair. Damian Priest distracted the ref. You know, so they were trying to, he was trying to attack uh, Rey Mysterio but he did the classic Eddie Guerrero where the ref turns around and um, uh, Rey Mysterio falls to the ground. He looks at the uh, chair. He looks at Rey. He rings the bell. 
you know, ding, 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 the work Mysterios won. Uh, just an homage to uh, Eddie Guerrero. I thought that was pretty cool. After that, they did another package with Logan Paul, who has um, signed with the WWE. I also cover that on my Dirt Sheet Roundup. So go check that out as well. Um, so he has signed with the WWE. And he has specifically said that we are no, me and the Miz are no longer friends. I want him at SummerSlam. Uh, the Miz gets a promo where they ask, you know, about the match. And the Miz says, I'm proud. I'm proud of what I've done and what I've made of Logan Paul. Um, he has, he's going to ask uh, Logan to rescind the uh, the match and accept Miz's offer, which he wants to be tag champs and take, uh, take, take both of the belts from the Usos. He said that he, if he does it, he's going to show him how to be humble. After that, we had the Street Profits. Street Profits. The Street Profits had their own cookout. I uh, thought that was very weird, but uh, it was a just it was a three segment thing that they had. Uh, Alpha Academy comes out, and they were talking about that you know they uh, the Independence Day is not about fireworks. It's not about barbecue. You know, it's about, you know, reading from the Constitution. And he wants to read the Declaration of Independence. And they were like, no, we're not going to do that. Let's do a, a hot dog eating contest. So uh, <laughs> Dawkins and Otis are going to have a hot dog eating competition. Uh, after that, Ray and Dominic are in the back. They are very happy over their win. But just with they, he grabs, beat them up from behind to set up hopefully another match. Um, they beat the living crap out of those two. It was very interesting. Um, here's my thing. About about Dominic Mysterio. Number one. Turn him heel. Please turn him heel. Number two. Get rid of that those ugly threads. His, his ring attire is so ugly it makes no sense. Number three. Change his fighting style. He is tall as shit. Why is he doing Rey Mysterio's fighting style? If he wants to do a luchador fighting style, have him do a luchador fighting style. But you have him doing little guy stuff. Like, I'm not understanding that. Don't do little guy stuff, you know? Um, I, I just, I'm not feeling, you know, I'm truly not feeling Dominic at all as a wrestler you know, as a character, I'm just not. Hopefully they can change that. Matter of fact, you know what? Fuck all that. Put him in NXT. Have him in NXT as a singles competitor, as a heel. Have him not with Rey Mysterio. That's what they should do with Dominic. Uh, if y'all think that I'm wrong, y'all let me know. Go in the comments. Let me know if y'all think I'm wrong. I just think Dominic needs to go by himself. He doesn't even need to be go, go by Dominic Mysterio. Have him change his name to something else or whatnot. Um, after that, we got a um, another Miz and uh, AJ Styles match. This match did end with a win and AJ Styles with a phenomenal forearm. Uh, after that, um, Tommaso Ciampa comes out of nowhere to attack uh, AJ for the victory. Um, AJ, well, he tries to do that 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 crazy knee, but AJ Styles uh, does the style clash. Well, attempts to do the style clash, but the Miz gets on him and does the uh, skull-crushing finale. I truly think that the Miz and Tomas and Ciampa are somehow, you know, collaborating behind the scenes, kayfabe-wise, of course, but I, I think something is, is going on between them. After that, they had a video package. Uh, it was strictly like Liv Morgan and Liv Morgan cashing it in, on, cashing her money in the bank the same night on Ronda Rousey to win. But they also show how she won as well. After that, they had a Liv Morgan uh, celebration promo where she talks about, you know, how happy she was to be the champion. She is still very, very emotional. 
Um, and she's so cute. She's so very cute. I'm so happy that she did win. Um, but out comes Natalia. Natalia uh, is very truthful about what she says. Uh, she says, you should be thanking me because I'm the one that was working that knee, working both of the legs and working the back uh, with the sharpshooter. So, you know, I deserve the first bite of the apple and I I want my challenge. I, I would love my challenge. Um, out comes Carmella. Carmella says that, which makes a valid point. Why are y'all doing, what are y'all doing here on Raw? Makes perfect sense. You have nothing on SmackDown. All of this segment should be on SmackDown. But anyway, uh, <laughs> Camilla, you know, is saying that, you know, I'm uh, after I get the belt, which she's not going to get the belt, but, you know, she talks about she wants the belt from Bianca Belair, but they're going to, they're going to jump. <laughs> of course, they're going to jump Liv. So, they both jump Liv, out comes Bianca Belair. She uh, evens the, she evens the numbers there, does her thing. They uh, get rid of the, they clear the heels from the ring, but out comes Adam Pierce. Adam Pierce wants a tag team. Then the tag team is going to be the champions, of course, versus Natalia and uh, Carmella. It was a decent match. They did single out Liv a lot of that match, and eventually Bianca did come in and did a lot of strength. I mean, it's just that's not what she does, man. She's a dog when it comes to the strength aspect of her character. Um, eventually, Liv did win with the Avalanche. I'm a big fan of her of her ending, of her special. I think it's pretty cool. So, uh, she didn't win with that. Uh, she got it actually on Natalia. So, but they did have a commercial where uh, Ronda will be there Friday to talk about what happened. So, you know, and I think they did say that, you know, um, you do not have a clause in the contract that will allow you to do to get a uh, uh, rematch. I, I like that. I kind of like that. that, that. So uh, after that, we got we went back to the barbecue where uh, we've seen Sheldon Benjamin. Haven't seen Sheldon Benjamin in a very long time. But Sheldon Benjamin was there. Um, and <laughs> they were playing with Veer. Veer was eating something. They they tapped him on the shoulder. He looked that way. They grabbed his food. He was mad. He left. He walked away. Uh, and, of course, the 24-7 division, uh, they was running to go get the belts. Uh, after that, Ezekiel was talking about, you know, um, who uh, they had, you know, competitions between him, his little brother, and of course uh, Elias. Um, oh God! And he was going to put ketchup on the bird on his not his burger, his hot dog, and he sprays Seth Rollins completely with ketchup. He looks at Ezekiel. He gets mad. He starts laughing with that Joker laugh, and he stops laughing. So I'm guessing, and I in my head, I'm like, yeah, they're, they're going to fight today as well. Um, so they did have a fight right after. Um, and it was a very good match. As a matter of fact, that was kind of the match of the night to me. Uh, the Ezekiel and Seth. I mean, Seth carries everybody to a great match. And Ezekiel or Elias, whoever you want to call him, he is a, uh, a good wrestler. But... Uh, Seth did carry that match. It was a very decent match. Um, I would suggest you to go watch that match. I can't do justice on that match. Um, at the end, though, Seth did get a curve stump uh, onto Ezekiel to win the match. He did leave, but, you know, Seth is effing crazy. So he gets back in the ring and uh, attempts to do another curve stump, but out of literally nowhere, Riddle comes with a RKO uh, to even the numbers. I uh, was very, very weird behind that. Because uh, he literally came from nowhere. But anyway, um, we finally get the hot dog eating contest. 
And <laughs> the winner was uh, Tazawa with 48 hot dogs. Otis only had 23, and uh, Dawkins only had 22. Now, the story is that Otis' stomach is killing him with all the hot dogs he ate. So we had the match finally, the uh, the triple the, the triple man uh, tag match between Bobby Lashley, the Street Profits, versus, of course, Alpha Academy and Theory. Not a lot of Theory in this match, uh, this go around. A lot of Alpha Academy versus Bobby Lashley. Um, they did get the win, of course. The, the faces got the win because, you know, it's, it's it's 4th of July. So it's going to be a kind of more of a face type, you know, type thing. Um, and at the end of the, you know, the match was okay. But the, at the end of the match was kind of the highlight where uh, Otis throws up or almost throws up onto uh, Chad Gable because of those hot dogs. Um, uh, he did win with a spear. Not, not a hurt lock to go around. A beautiful spear by uh, Bobby Lashley. I keep forgetting that's one of his uh, signature moves is uh, the the spear. Um, after that, we got a Becky Lynch promo where she's saying that, hey, I am sick and tired of Asuka. This no-hold-bar match should get rid of Asuka and get her out of my face forever. We doubt that because, of course, the women's division is not that big. So, uh, after that, we got an R-Truth. Uh, segment that he is Uncle Sam. He talks about Independence Day, the actual movie, where, you know, he's giving props to Will Smith, Jeff Goldblum, and Vincent Fox. Uh, and he says a statement. He said, welcome to Earth and punch the microphone. Because that's one of the things that Will Smith did on uh, the uh, on Independence Day. Uh, I thought he was going to talk about the Constitution, but he talks about welcome to Earth. After that, we get Gunther. We get Gunther. He comes out. He talks, uh, you know, he's the typical anti-American person now. I hate when they do this because Gunther is actually dating, I think, an American. So, I am lost. Um, So, he comes out. He beats the living dog shit and uh, out of our truth Didn't even know it was going to be a match. But it was a match. That beautiful powerbomb and win. Um... Really lost behind that. After that, we get a promo with uh, with Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss is now saying that um, uh, she's very happy for Liv Morgan, but she also says that she is she has no friends. She has no friends. Her only friend is Lily, and uh, now she's thinking about uh, gold as well. Now she wants the gold as well. And he said it will be kind of cute for Lily to have her own uh, belt as well. Thank goodness it was better than that Capital One commercial because that was tragic. Truly tragic. Um, after that, we get the Becky Lynch versus Asuka no hold barred match. Um, Becky is the first one to come out. And when I tell you she is just stacking, uh, she's stacking so much stuff. She has tables. She has chairs. You name it, she has it stacking up. It is something in my eye. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, uh, she's stacking everything up. She's getting ready to annihilate. Uh, but out comes Asuka. Asuka, Asuka has a trash can uh, over her waist. Um, and they are, as soon as the bell rings, it is time. And, um... At the beginning, it was kind of weird because Asuka did like a really soft uh, chair shot to the back. Well, kind of hit her in the butt, in the booty cheeks. It was kind of weird. Um, but after that, it went all the way up. It was a crazy match, you guys. Really great match, matter of fact. Um, we get a um, nice uh, super suplex off the top. Well, off the second rope onto a bunch of chairs. Uh, we also get a, a spot where Asuka puts the trash can on Becky and starts doing her crazy kicks. Uh, Becky stands up and she get, uh, Asuka gets on the top rope, does a missile drop kick while the uh, trash can is still on her. But we got a really great manhandle slam 
on off the second rope onto a table for her to win. Um, that was my second match of the night, and I will say this. That match was really good. Go check that match out uh, as well, because I guarantee you how uh, WWE has already downloaded that, or somebody has downloaded and put it on, on YouTube. But that match was really good as well. I will honestly say Raw was really good this go-around. I'm very happy that they had a commercial where Roman will be on SmackDown Friday. Thank goodness. I mean, goodness gracious. I mean, come on, really? We haven't seen you in forever. We only see you like every pay-per-view probably, you know, and the and that and that riddle match. I mean, come on, you haven't been there in almost like three weeks. Come on, give us some give us some love. Give us some love. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, y'all, I thank y'all so much. Uh that is the end of the podcast. I will give you one more thing. Cause a lot of people are talking about Logan Paul and, and um and I had a friend who, uh, well, a co-worker and a friend who came to me and said, uh, Logan Paul, what about, what do you think about Logan Paul? Number one, L Logan Paul uh, did a great job on WrestleMania, hands down. You might hate the old Logan Paul, but this Logan Paul I really like. He's very focused, very determined, and of course he has like a zillion followers on YouTube. So you have to respect what's going on. Um, so the topic will be why I think that celebrities in wrestling are a good match. Those are good matches. Celebrities and wrestlers and the wrestling organization are great for each other. Those most of those matches are great, hands down. You can say what you want, love it. So, um, like, share, subscribe, send it over to somebody you like, send it over to somebody you don't like. Just give me love. Fifty, uh, the fiftieth subscriber, love you to death. As soon as you get there, I love y'all so much. Uh, thank y'all so much. And until then, love, peace, and of course, wrestling.